Go ahead. Okay. So I wanted to talk about um, using a UVC light, um, uses the UVC light to sterilize um, face masks like this. Like this is a regular uh, surgical, I think it's a surgical face mask. And then, um, cause I just heard the professor, um, he's one of the Hong Kong experts talk about, um, because there's a huge shortage. We have to be innovative um, because of, of masks of, um, N95 and the surgical masks that, you know, these, these are a part of the PPE uh, personal protective, um, equipment that, um, they're actually, you know, are going to reuse, um, they don't, they're actually recommending reusing the, reusing the face mask. So, um, let's listen to what he says here. Shortages uh, cannot be met with uh, within a short period of time. Uh, we are now even thinking about uh, using also nicer to disinfect a surgical mask. And uh, one of the things that I was doing actually is to wear a reusable cloth mask inside. So one layer inside and then wear the surgical mask outside. And after use, I it's use the ozonizer to ozonize it and then hang it up and let all the ozone uh, disappear. And then I use it again, but again with a reusable cloth mask inside and then uh, disinfect it, an ozone disinfected uh, surgical mask outside. Uh, besides using ozone, the other thing that we can use is to use UV uh, lights. So UV light. Uh, we have right. UV boxes, ultraviolet boxes that can be used for surface disinfection of these surgical masks. And I do think that we have to innovate it. All these masks would not suddenly fall from the sky. And so um, I'm sure that other people will have other innovative ways of uh, reusing the mask in a safe way. So, so he talked about using UVC and then I actually purchased this one called, it's from a company called Perlite. Um, I think I got it on Amazon. Yeah, I got it on Amazon, it's this one, but it's currently unavailable. And uh, I purchased it uh, like a few weeks, like four weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, I think. Um, where is it? Yeah, so March, early March, it was 179. Now it's like 199 direct, and then they're, they're sold out. So, um, I mean, you could probably get on a waiting list or something, but, so I wanted to show you the one that I have. This is the, the Perlite. And it's really simple to use. It only takes about a minute. So you just click load and then um, you can put anything that'll fit in this little um, container, which is actually has a plastic film, um, clear plastic film. And that is a special plastic because it allows um, the UVC light to penetrate, to go through it. Because I think regular, um, even like acrylic uh, glass, it will actually block um, the sterilizing rays of the UVC light. So you just put it in and you want to make sure that um, the light car, you know, is going to shine on all the areas you want to san uh, sanitize. So there is actually, if you look here, if you try going to here, there's actually a light bulb there. And then there's one on, on this inner, the inner side, which you can't see. But um, so you just drop it in there. So this part you can wash, you know, you, you just wipe it probably with some alcohol, but just drop it. So you want to make sure um, keep it as as you'd normally wear it because this these are all the areas that are exposed and there probably are like virus and bacteria particles on there so you want to get those killed and and you just simply close it and then push the start button this one is pretty quick it takes about um a minute and then you can see the light here it's shining blue so but this again this acrylic plastic um, you're not, it's actually dangerous to look at the, the UVC light with your um, naked eyes. So this is, I think it's actually going to filter out the dangerous part of the, the wavelength of the light. So that's okay. And we well, shouldn't look at it, um, you know, for too long. But then there's on this side, we also have, um, this is a much cheaper. Yeah, so that's done. So, so sorry, so that's done. And then now this is pretty much sterilized. So this one, I think, um, because it's as big tubes, it's pretty strong and that's why it only takes about a minute to sterilize and then this other one and i've seen there's many different um manufacturers and brands let me just hang this up here but um so this one you know i would actually wear the mask more than just once so this one is main um designed for mainly like uh iphones and stuff but i had 
and you know obviously my keys i was sterilizing and uh my card octopus card but it's uh where's the uh oh yeah there so we're gonna charge um sterilize the, the phone here and this is justin's phone put it on there this one's a little bit different i see the the uvc tube there's one on the top and then there's one at the bottom here but it's not as big and powerful as the other one right so this one um takes a bit longer and what I actually don't like about this one is as soon as you close it, it's going to actually go through one cycle, one sterilization cycle, which takes about, for this one, it takes about five minutes. So um, when it's blinking, um, then that means it's actually the lights on and it's sterilizing. But it, when it's, so when it becomes a solid light, then and that means it's done and you can open up. But then when you open it up and close it, then it starts doing another cycle. So it kind of like wastes the cycle every time you use it. Um, that's why I don't like this one too much, but it's, you know, this is a, a it, it's cheaper. It's like, I th it's from China. So I've seen the price, there's many different suppliers. And I think the price ranges be from between like $29 to like 50 bucks. So this is much cheaper, but um, you know, it's more, much more affordable, but that's, you know, close to $200 US. So that's quite expensive. And then the bulbs have to be changed. I don't know. I think they said maybe once a year or something, but I guess it really depends on how often you use it. Um, but this one, yeah, you can, whatever you can fit in it. So I've been able to fit, um, you know, keys. Um, this is an octopus card for um, buying stuff and get using on for mass transit in Hong Kong. But even, I think my glasses will fit in one of these. This is my um, uh, ear, ear phones that I use for jogging. This won't fit in there, but it does fit in the other one. And then, um, you know, like my car key can charge that in here. Um, so it's good to have like a U UVC sterilizing uh, device, but I just wanted to cover that because um, I haven't seen too many other like videos showing that. And this is the first time I actually um, heard of a, you know, a real expert saying that you can use the UVC um, sterilizing box to sterilize uh, the masks and, and thus reuse them because there is a, sh you know, there's a global shortage now. Um, today is April 4th, 2020, and we're still in the middle of it. I mean, the cases, global um, infection cases are surging right now, especially in the States and in Europe. So, and even in Hong Kong and Singapore, it's increasing still. So, um, just wanted to share that. Thanks.